Hello YouTube Retro Chef here. It's Sunday. It's hot. It's a car boot birthday belated present, if you want to say that. And one eBay, a couple of gifts from people, something I bought myself, and something from a friend of my mum's. Oh, Robinson's a bit of apple juice. It's school past four, so I'm a little bit later today making my video. A bit of Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Ultimate Battle 22 on the top, and then on the bottom one, Mario Power Tennis. All right, so yeah, um, got a few late birthday gifts uh, this week on. Friday, as far as just gone, I got my main gift from my wife. Uh, I've been, where I've been working and where she's been working, she hasn't had time to sort it out. But she sorted out in the end, and I'm a happy owner of a PS4 with uh, Watch Dogs Metal, Metal Tin Edition, because my wife got it from Argos, so it's like a Metal Tin one, still what book one. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good. Obviously, the Watchdog game I got. I also got Thief, which I play a little bit of. Metal Gear Solid 5, which I play a little bit of. And Injustice, uh, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition. So yeah, so thank you to my wife. I love you. You're the, uh, you're my world. Thank you for my gifts, that was great. I've got a nice new t-shirt from my sister-in-law. Don't know if you can see, a nice X-Men t-shirt. So yeah, so that was my birthday gift from my wife. And my sister-in-law, she got me, sorry, my sister-in-law got me Thief and Injustice. I don't know. I'm lying to you now. She got me Thief, Injustice and Metal Gear Solid. That's what my sister-in-law got me. Which was great. Um, Jump straight in it this week because I've got a few things to do. So I'm back to work tomorrow and a couple of days off. So I got that f from um, a birthday gift from my missus and my sister-in-law. I bought myself this because it was $8.99 in Argos. So I recommend anyone go and get it. Uh, I'm probably never going to play it. But for $8.99 I thought I'd take it. And that is the Pokemon Learn with Pokemon Typing Edition uh, Adventure. $8.99 in Argos. I recommend anyone go and get that. Because I'm sure that's going to be one of them games that it's going to go up in value, you know what I mean. Um, a couple of gifts off my friend Lee, who I'll just say come back from the car boot. He gave me a few things he got, so thank you Lee. He got me a Pez Toadstool. He got me a Pez Mario. And a Pez Yoshi. So thank you Lee, I hope you're good mate. So we went to a couple of car boots today, got a few bits and pieces. Um, I've done alright, he, he got a couple of bits but I've done alright actually, I'm quite, I'm quite chuffed what I've got. Uh, I'll do me, me eBay and my gift from me, me mum's friend. So one eBay, sorry this is not even, this is not even eBay. This is Facebook, or Facebook pay we're going to call it. I bought quite a bit of stuff recently off there, and uh, I got some good stuff coming. So I was hoping it'd be here this weekend, but it hasn't. It didn't get here. I got some awesome, an awesome GameCube game. I've been looking for it for a little while, and if he says if the pictures do it justice, then I'm well happy. But anyway, so for five pound, six pound, all in. Uh, I know I've got this, so I'm probably going to let this one go. I need to check if mine's in good, better condition. I can't remember, but for six pound, all in. With manual, I've got Dynamite Dukes for the Mars system. Now I know I've got this, but I need to check if mine's in better nick or whatnot. But Dynamite Duke, so please PM me if you're after it. Love this game, love this game. Um, gift from my mum's friend. Uh, she's got more bits. Basically, my mum said to a friend of well, my son's, you know, she he collects, hey, she. He collects games, he's on YouTube, da, 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 da. I think they must have watched me on YouTube and they saw him. 
they see that I was collecting for the Xbox. Well, I collect for every console, basically. Um, they gave me a box of Xbox games, Xbox original ones. Um, so I haven't gone through them properly yet, so I don't know what's, what, what's there and what's there. They told my mum they got loads more, so I'm, I'm hoping they got better stuff than this. But for free, I'm not going to complain. So, and they're a bit, they're a bit grubby. So I've got Trans World Surf, Rainbow Six Free. It's all from my mum's friend for free. Project Snowblind, Second Sight. I'm not gonna open them. They're really, really dusty. You need to clean them. CSI, uh, yeah, CSI Crime, Crimes Investigation, Headhunter, Rent Edition. Mafia on oh, Xbox 360 game uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 6 NHL Hits 2002 Blinks 2004 Liverpool Football Club Ooh. Oh dear All Star Baseball 2003 is it and one street ball or Andy or Andy and one street ball? Shoot, yeah, fuck it. We club football Arsenal edition. Might have to give that a go. They are dusty. Fifty cent bulletproof or whatever it bloody is. Project Gotham two. Pro Evolution Soccer five. Armour Championship, Men of Valor, or Valor, whatever you want to say, Brothers in Arms, Earned in Blood, and the last one, oh, Sega's last one, well, last Xbox game, Sega Soccer Slam, and the last game in the box is Monsters Inc. Scare Island on the PS2. So thank you to my mum's friend, whoever it is, I don't know who they are. So hopefully they're going to give my mum some more stuff, some other bits. God, these are all dirty. I can feel, I can feel all my hands now. Oh. Uh, one other thing. My wife's cousin is moving to Cyprus. So he gave me... Well, they get rid of all their stuff, and he gave me a TV. It's just here, you can't see it. Basically, it's a lovely TV. It's an LG 42-inch um, flat screen, full HD. It's a, it's quite a rare model. I don't know the, the numbers on the back of it. I can't remember off the top, top of my head, but basically, to turn it on and off, there's like a hole in the middle just of the bottom of the screen. You put your hand in the hole, put your finger in the hole, lights up. If you know about TVs, you know what I mean. But anyway, basically. He had it in his games room because he had a, uh, like his PS3 in that Xbox. Um, I think it's like 600 hertz telly, something like that. It runs so fast the screen. So I was like, he goes, do you want it? You know, because I don't need it. I was like, yeah, please. Yeah. So it's just sitting here. I was going to plug it in. I'll tell you what, I'll turn the screen. You can just see it there. Uh, see? It's a nice, there's a hole in the middle if you can see it. And I'm, and I'm back in the room. So yeah, thank you to my wife's uncle for that, cousin for that, that's great, because it's a very good team, I've been using it for the PS2 and that, wiki picture. So, car boot today, how did we do? Didn't do too bad today, picked up a couple of bits. Um, oh, I've got, say, I've got a few more face bay stuff coming, I'm just moving it all in, a few more face bay bits coming, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll do the non-gaming item first because it's pretty cool. So me and Leah at the first car boot about Harper. I think I can hear my daughter calling me. Nah, can't hear. Her. Um, me and Leah at the early car boot. It's about half past six, it's quarter to seven, walking around, uh, and I oh, we walked past this this thing on the floor. And I looked at it, and I looked away, and I thought, I know what that is. Uh, my brother's got one. Or I'd say I've got one. 
but not my one's like a copy of it, not 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 the original make if you follow me. So it's like an it's a copy of it. Um, so I walked back and I picked it up. I'm gonna show you now what it is. If you know about speakers and stuff and sound systems, you'll know what this is. Now this is a Harman Kardon, whatever you want to call it, Harman Kardon, Kardon. Um, I don't know what you want to call it. My brother uses it for his computer, his PC, and all, you know all that malarkey. But you can you can plug it into your iPhone, uh, plug it into your telly. So basically, that's the subwoofer, and all the wires in the back it plugs in to two two lots of tweeters, which and they all light up. All right, so I've tested it, and it's awesome. I mean, I'm gonna call my brother in a minute because it's he's it lad. I had it plugged into my mobile because it plugs in through the um, the jack in the top, and it's well, lads. I was well impressed. I got that for a fiver, and say when we mainly went into McDonald's, had a well, I had a porridge, had a cup of coffee, and um, he looked online and it was going for like over fifty quid. So even if I sell it, I make my money back. So that was a fiver. Now. going to break these up into bits. So the first car boot I've got the Harman Kardon, whatever you want to call it, speaker. That was the only non gaming item. And then I picked up two Wii games, both for a pound each for my daughter. One is Ratatouille, which I've never played, so, you know, but it's Ratatouille, so it can't be too bad. And the other one is the Carnival Funfair game. Carnival Funfair games, yeah. Both for a pound. My daughter likes that kind of stuff, so that's great. <clears throat> and I think that was it from the first car boot. There wasn't much there today, which was a bit disappointing because the weather was really nice. Um, so we were at McDonald's, I had, a, so I had porridge, I'm mean, banging into my porridge in a minute. <laughs> and Lee had his coffee. Then we then went to the other car boot, uh, got there for about eight ish. Queued up, massive queue. Got in. Looking more, got water, had a little walk around. I think the first thing I picked up, I'm looking. Yeah, the first thing I picked up, there was a, a lady and her daughter. So, a lady must have been about in the mid, mid to late 40s, and the daughter must have been in her early 20s. And they loaded Game Boy games. I think Lee picked up a couple of Mario ones uh, for like next to nothing. And I picked up for, she wanted £2 a game. I've got these, both of these games for three quid. Just gonna open them up. But I've got basically Power Rangers Ninja Storm. I, I, like, I like my old Power Rangers. Oh, this is that's strange. Oh, right, okay, yep. Yeah. It's Power Rangers Time Force and Power Rangers Ninja Storm. All in one. So, that's the game. I got the manual with it as well, and the manual is double-sided, so it's got both games in the manual. So, yeah, and I've got Spider-Man 2. They were three pound for the pair, so very happy with that. They had a Game Boy Advance. Oh shit! What? They had a Game Boy Advance and a few other ones, and but <clears throat> they were, it wasn't in nice condition. And she wanted she wanted three pound for it, which ain't bad. But I thought, you know what? I'm not I'm not, not desperate for a Game Boy Advance, so I didn't bother. <clears throat> Walking around, sit, a lot of PS2 games out and about today, but to say nothing really jumped out. Even me and Lee were looking, we couldn't see much. We saw a man with a Super NES, he had a Super NES boxed Mary All Stars, but the box had been taped up with brown tape, so when I was trying to undo it, it was all tearing. And he only wanted, he wanted a, a tenner for that, and, a, and he had a Super Scope, but he wanted a tenner for it. But you know, just. I don't even have a Super NES, and you're never going to sell it on with a box, so it's like I didn't bother with it. But I saw this PS2 game on the floor. Uh, I've already got it, but this is in way better condition than mine, so I'm very happy. I don't think I've bought it, but I've never played it, so I don't know how good it is. It's uh, Shadow of Memories. I think this was panned, and this is absolutely mint. Absolutely mint. So I've already got it, but my one, I think my one's missing the manual. But this is mint, so yeah, that was the pants. Walking around, um, 
near the back of the car book, so it was loads, it was quite busy, but there wasn't a lot of game stuff there. Um, went to a store, man was selling pits, a load of PS2 games. After match the game was, he said 50p each. So 50p, well, for a pound. I got flushed away for my daughter and Ultimate Spider Man. So, bang happy with that. Both complete. Spider Man, so I don't, I don't know if I've got that, but for 50p, I'll, I'll take the risk. <coughs> we were just, I think we were nearly, nearly coming out, nearly at the end of the car boot, <coughs> and we're walking around and spotted. PS1 games in the GameCube console. <coughs> I was going through the box, I found the box, I found this box, and a Mario Kart. Now, I've got Mario Kart, I've got the red box one, I've got the black box one, but with Zelda, and I haven't got like a. This is the one you got if you bought the console with it, so this is not to be sold separately. So I opened it up, and there was no game in it. So I thought, let me dig in the box. I digged in the box a bit more, but found the console, opened the console, and it was in there. So for a pan, I got Mario Kart Double Dash. So that was great. Right at the end, basically, of the second car boot, we walked down. We walked down the yard where all the traders go. There must have been a geezer. He had tubs and tubs of shit, <laughs> basically those shit. But on the floor, he had this, a game genie. Now I said to my mate Lee, I'll put the iron on it, and I have. If you can see, mate, the box has come out absolutely spankers. So it's a Nintendo NES Game Genie, which I've already got, but this one's in better condition than mine. The box is in better nick. It's the manual's in nice condition, uh, and I paid a pan for that. So I absolutely stole it off the man. It's for the normal NES, and even been used. All the wrappers still, everything's in there. I've ironed it all out now, so it looks lovely. So, yep, that was a pan. So that was that car boot. We then went to another car boot with the three in total today. Um, got into the car boot, it was dead, absolutely dead. No cars there then. So it started to slowly come in. And as we walked around, I saw the, these two games on the floor and so did Lee. Um, I picked them up mainly because I wasn't sure if I had them and Lee didn't pick them up because I don't think he wanted them. But for two pounds, so one pound each, we've got Naruto, uh, Uzumaki, uh, Uzumaki, or whatever, Chronicles. So that's complete. I don't think I've got that one. And the Ruo Ultimate Ninja 2, again, I'm not sure if I've got, but for a pound each, I'll take them. I will, when I get a chance, I will have a look and see. But yeah, two pound for them. And that was pretty much the car boot, to be honest, because it was, it was packed, but there was not a lot there. One of the shorts every I've done. <clears throat> but, so Lee said to me, Oh, um, one of my mates gave me some N64 stuff, PS1 stuff. I was like, Oh, yeah, he goes, Yeah, yeah. And he tempted me with one of the games as soon as like, we went to McDonald's, he showed me one of the games, and I was like nearly wetting myself because I needed it. But we've gone through the games, PS1 game, I pulled one game, one PS1 game out. And I only needed one of the discs for it, but he gave it to me anyway. So this is technically another present or flea. I've got um, X-Files, which I've already got. But I know that my disc 2 is battered. I think it's dead or I've lost it. So the box is not in the best condition, but I can swap it out. But yeah, he gave me that. So thanks again, Lee. And he also gave me this. It's been good to me with my mate, Lee. He's going to sort me out some tiles as well, he said, for me um, bathroom. A couple of weeks ago, it's gone on about... He bought um, some comics, some Danny Dyer comics. And I thought, I've never heard that in my life. He said he bought 300 comics for like next to nothing. Uh, and he gave me one. So I, I don't know if he's worth any money or anything, I'm going to keep it anyway. It's Jack said the graphic novel. Well, I don't think I've seen the film of this. It's like, yes, yeah, so that's the graphic novel of the film Jack said. I've never seen it, I ain't got a clue about it. I don't know if it's good or bad. So yeah, so Lee, and thanks Lee. And then say, he showed me all these N64 games and basically I said to him, I'll have the whole lot off him, because I need a couple of them. There's a couple of them I can trade on, or well, sell on for me, uh, to you guys. 
But the main game I wanted, so I have got it, because my good friend of mine, Carl Ocarina Fella boy for me. Um, I'll show the game last actually, because it's probably the best one. So, six, seven, eight, eight N64 games I've got of him. First one is Track and Field International Summer Games. It's in the box, but the box has seen better days. It's just a game in the box, no manual. Got another copy of Goldeneye. Doom 64. Mario 64. Duke Nukem 64. F Zero X. <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. But Bumble. And the best game of the lot, and the one I wanted because it's in the box, and I say, I, I think I've just got the car only. I think, or I might have it with a box, but my box is dead. But either way, great game. Not it got a lot of lot of shit on the old uh, N64, but I don't really care because it's a Castlevania game, and it is Castlevania. Boxed, manualed. The box needs a bit of ironing. Bit of uh, need to put, put, put some gold, my, my golden balls on it. Bit of the Tascahona's Loro special to iron it out. But yeah, I've got all them games, all that for 30 quid. So I was happy with that because I think this goes for like 15 pounds anyway. So well happy with that. And that is it. This is my shortest video. I don't know how long it's been. It's got to be my shortest video. So yeah, I've got. Some stuff coming from coming in a post through uh, Face Bay, or what you bloody call it. I've sent out some parcels to Raz, the sweet gamer. We, we've been talking while well, we've been messaging each other now. He seemed to think I didn't know who he was, but I do know who he is through Facebook. He was saying, I don't know if you knew who I was, but I do. So, Raz, uh, your gift's coming to you with a few little Bruces. <laughs> through Bruce, I've, I haven't got Tourette's. I'm not having a stroke, I'm just was winking. Um, yeah, so Raz, your, your box, I've sent it off last Tuesday, so you should have it hopefully by tomorrow, Monday. Um, Monkey Spaz, you've got yours, that's great. And uh, Shock16, you've got, he, you, you got yours because you messaged on Facebook, so that's good. Um, yeah, so that's it really, guys. So I'm just going to say a quick hello to everyone. I hope. Uh, Two UK, I hope you are. I didn't message you today, man. I totally forgot to message you this morning. Normally, I message you early on the morning to say to you, you go and carve but I didn't get a chance. Grub Gun, we were messaging uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, obviously, last night, I'll say that I've watched the Groves, Frotch fight, great fight. My money on Frotch, obviously, because he knocked him out. He's a mug. Um, so, yeah, Grub, if you're around, I want to speak to you. I still haven't spoke to you all this time. I know you've been busy, so that's Christy. We had a little, we had a little message. Uh, 2D Rob, hope you're good. Steve, 32, uh, 32, 32067. Yeah, and the other Steve, Steve Dance, 81. Why would you put name numbers, man? Why can't you give a name like the Retro Chef or, well, not my name? Why can't you be? Why can't you be Steve the, the Northerner or Steve? The, well, not Northern, but you're, you're North from me, so that's fine. Steve's the something. Anyway. Um, Carl, obviously Carl Walker in the fella, Das Corners Loro, like I said, Mossy Retro Channel Game Under 100, Pompey Games Room, Jordan Holloway, your gift mate, I'm sending it out first thing Monday, I didn't get a chance on Saturday, I'm running like an arsehole, so I've got it boxed, I'm looking at it, it's all boxed up mate, that's coming to you, I've got to, um, got to go to the bank with your old uh, check, doobie doo, so I've got to do that, um, yeah Jordan Holloway, hope you're good, Kieran Cox, Game Boys are awesome, uh, Minx, I haven't forgotten you, mate. It's just been, it's been up to me eyes of work. Uh, who else? I don't know. Just, just everyone, everyone who watches my channel, uh, who does, does, and doesn't watches. People keep thumbing up, thumbing down. I'm getting thumbed down. I don't know why. Are you jealous? I'm good looking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, guys, I'm rambling. I'm changing shit now. It's the retro chef. Seeing you next week. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe.
thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, if you got my mobile number, which you have, don't be shy. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.